Now then, I do a very warm welcome from me, David Hoyle, to a bit more Yorkshire Brass. Thanks for joining me. This is show number 134 in our online series. And we started today with music by Tony Hatch, played by the Yorkshire Imperial Band. It was called Airline. You can just tell with that music that it was written with uh, TV, the big screen perhaps, in mind. It's so descriptive and you, you can feel, you can almost see the aircraft, the airline flying in the sky. Great music by a great composer. Thanks as always for getting in touch with your requests, dedications, observations, some of those to come uh, in a little while. Well, let's get on with the first march. Nick is in Oldham. Thanks, Nick, for making this request. This is a particular favourite of mine, says Nick. Do you like it, Euler? Certainly do. I played this march uh, in the Youth in Brass contest back in 1978, the very first Youth in Brass contest held in Slathwaite, and we were winners. We won the whole competition. Petition. This is the Ever Ready Band playing George Allen's Senator. <laughs> Thank you. 
Senator by George Allen. The Ever Ready Band were playing there at the request of Nick in Oldham. Senator is one of his favourite marchers, one of mine too. I think it's an absolute cracker. Hello to Graham in East Bailey. A lovely email, Graham. Thank you very much indeed. Some really lovely things in there. And uh, you share quite a few requests with us. This is an absolute belter. We've not played this one on a bit more Yorkshire Brass before, so thanks for reminding us about it. Uh, this is a, a more modern overture by Philip Spark and played by the Leyland Band. I can only describe this as a rate good listen. It's called a Swiss Festival Overture.
good that isn't it a swiss festival overture by philip spark played there by the leyland band and that was requested by graham and east Bailey. graham emailed yorkshire brass at gmail.com that's the email address that you can use if you want to get in touch with a request for the program uh, anything you'd like to say and um, some of you in fact regularly most weeks somebody gets in touch about one of the recordings that we've played uh, says how much they've enjoyed it and wants to know whether you can get a hold of a copy of the recording the cd or whatever that it's on always w- willing and pleased to help with that information now then young glenn richards how the devil are you lovely to hear from you young man and uh, glenn says i want to make a request um for a friend of mine who's called mike pritt um, i'd like to hear Hetty Wainthrop investigates. Now, this music was written by Nigel Hess and arranged for brass band by Bill Geldard. Glynn says, Mike's never heard this. Well, that's really interesting, isn't it? Because Mike Pritt is the soloist on this recording with the Freckleton Band. It's got to be a first, this. A request for someone who's a soloist, made by someone who isn't the soloist, to hear the soloist. Hetty Wainthrop Investigates is the piece of music, and here is Mike Pritt with the Freckleton Band. Mike Pritt with the Freckleton Band playing a request for him from his good friend Glyn Richards who says Mike's never heard that before but I'll make sure he does now. Hetty Wainthrop Investigates of course was the piece of music written by Nigel Hess arranged by Bill Geldard. Fabulous series Patricia Routledge uh, and a very young Dominic Monaghan who of course went on to very great things indeed. Um, you can still watch them on catch up they're still there. Uh, set all around Nelson, Burnley, Barrowford that sort of area. Next up we've got um, a self-indulgent birthday request how dare i says debbie how dare you indeed um debbie says i've got a big birthday coming up it ends in a zero and you find it right in the middle of a dartboard got you happy birthday flower and um, i grew up loving the music of the carpenters still love it still believe that karen carpenter one of the best voices ever 
Um, yes, I totally agree. Karen Carpenter and Judith Durham, for me, the two voices that are just absolutely, they're just wonderful. Um, and then you've, you've got things like Julie Covington, Judy Collins as well, all in, the, all in that type of ilk. Fabulous voices. Anyway, Debbie says, um, my mum, always playing on the record player, always seemed to be there, the Carpenters LP. My grandma was the same. Could you please play me one of the Carpenters songs, brass band style, to make my birthday extra special? Certainly can. I think this is a great arrangement for brass band. This was written by Hank Williams, and it's played by the Williams Fairy Band. Jambalaya. <laughs> Right up there with the most favourite Carpenters tracks of mine. Jambalaya by Hank Williams was played there by the Williams Fairy Band, wishing Debbie in Leeds very happy. Big Zero birthday. Thanks for the request, Debbie. Uh, now then, who have we got here? We've got Paul. Paul's been in touch on the Facebook group. He says, I love the banter in between the music and uh, a lot of good things about food. But what about talking about drinks and perhaps some of the strange named beers? What a damn good idea. Yes. Let's do it. Um, I've got a list in front of me here. Some of them are, are funny. Uh, some of them are a bit close to the bone, but we'll get away with them. That's fine. Um, and, and some of them are just plain stupid. Um, how about this one to start with? Smooth Hopperator. That's got to be named after a Sade song from the 1980s, hasn't it? And as you'd guess, it's, it's a hoppy beer. Um, so very much a play on words, as is as is the next one, but it's a play on the name. This is a Belgian uh, IPA brewed in Canada, and it's called Audrey Hopburn. Clever. Very, very clever. Um, happy, hoppy ending. Hoppy ending, I put happy ending. Hoppy ending, a pale ale. Again, another, another hoppy beer. Um, and a funny one just to finish the first bit with. This is a, a seasonal beer, as you would imagine. It's called Santa's Butt. Oh dear. I dread to think what's in that one. Next up, where are we going here? Oh yeah, Peter is in Thirsk. 
This piece of music, Peter, is very special. It's described as a symphonic foxtrot, and there are some very unusual rhythms and chords. Unusual goings on pretty much full stop in this piece of music. Thanks for choosing it. This is the music of Karl Rebrecht. It's played by the Brickhouse and Rastrick Band, and it's called Samoom. <laughs>
The Brickhouse and Rastrick Band playing Samoom by Carl Rebrecht. That was for Peter in Thirst. What is a Samoom? Well, it's a strong, dry, local wind that blows in the Sahara region and, and, and Israel, Jordan, Syria, the deserts, basically. It, it's a desert desert wind, but a, a strong wind. It's a lovely name, Samoom. Thanks again, Peter in Thirsk. Um, next up, we're staying with the Brigadier and Rastrick Band for this one. This is for Julie and Chris, uh, who are in Kegworth, celebrating 40 years together this year. How fabulous. And um, This piece of music reminds us both of the first time that we ever went to a theatre show in London, and it was this show that we saw together. Funny you should say that, because the first time, uh, the first lady and I went to the theatre together in London, we saw the very same show. We're probably of a similar age. This is music by Andrew Lloyd Webber, arranged for brass band by good friend of the show, Sandy Smith. The Brickhouse and Rastrick Band are playing, as I say, and this is Cat's Selection.
A selection from the musical Cats, an arrangement by Sandy Smith of the music of Andrew Lloyd Webber. The Brick House and Rast Street Band were playing there. Thanks and best wishes to Julie and Chris who are in Kegworth in the East Midlands. Next up, we're going to Murfield. Lovely piece of music. This starts off really quietly, goes to a crescendo and then drops back down again to quietness at the end. It's a bit like one of the Scottish patrols is this one. Uh, you've got to really listen at the beginning, you've got to really listen at the end. Don't think we've disappeared, we haven't, it's just that the band, basically you just end up with one person playing at the at the end and just a couple at the beginning. It's lovely as this. Thanks to Sue in Murfield for requesting this in the Yorkshire Brass Facebook group. This is music by Bob Barrett and Edrich Siebert and the Williams Fairy Band are playing here. The Piper in the Meadow.
The Piper in the Meadow, the Williams Fairy Band, playing the music of Bob Barrett and Edrich Siebert. That was for Sue in Murfield. Thanks again, Sue, YorkshireBrass at gmail.com, the email address that you use for that one. Funny beer names, the subject this week. Paul was in touch and said, why don't you talk about drink uh, and let's see what we can come up with on some funny names. Uh, Golden Newt. Um, I thought this was a really funny one because it was described on the, on the pump as being minute. A small beer with a big heart. Golden Newt. Uh, it's a golden real ale. Very tasty. I tried some in London once and uh, did enjoy it. Ill-tempered gnome. Now, this is an interesting one. This is an American brown ale. And the pictures of it show the ale frothing over the glass. Well, I have to say, I've never seen that in America. Um, the, the, all, the, all the ales I've ever drunk over there are just flat. They don't have a head on them. And I like, I like a head on my beer now how about this one i've got to be careful with this i can't pronounce it fully uh, but this is described as a big round and fruity beer uh, and it's called the dog's but yes you get the drift it's supposed to be the best beer of them all hence why it's called the dog's but right okay um and another one old engine oil this looks awful it looks like old engine oil uh, and apparently it's a strong porter ale don't like porters they're, they're too stodgy for me old engine oil more of those coming up in a little while roger in kings lane at uh, the time of the week where we've come to the playing of the thoughtful piece of music uh, which usually appears towards the end of the first hour today is no different uh, and roger says i know you've played this before but it's such a lovely piece of music yeah this was arranged for brass band by uh, one of our listeners actually um, Stephen Bradman was lovely to bump into Stephen a few weeks ago. This is by Joyce Bashak, and the old Silkston band are playing the choice of Roger in Kings Lynn. The Irish Blessing. <laughs>
Just lovely, that, isn't it? The Irish Blessing by Joyce Bashak. That arrangement was by Stephen Bradnam for Brass Band, and it was played for Roger in Kings Lynn by the Old Silkston Band. Coming to the end of the first part of this week's A Bit More Yorkshire Brass with me, David Hoyle, show number 134 this week. Uh, and we're going to Sunderland up in the northeast. Say hello to Billy, everybody. Uh, Billy sent us a lovely email and uh, he finds the Yorkshire Brass group really great. Lots of good ideas shared on there about pieces of music that bands can play. Uh, bands advertising for players, all sorts of stuff, but pretty much just brass banding and anything that comes up otherwise does get reported to me very quickly and thanks for doing that what have you chosen billy well there's some stuff in here uh, from the region where i come from in the northeast so let's have a go at this piece of music says billy by goff richards if at all possible absolutely no problem whatsoever the carlton main frickly colliery band are playing here songs of the key
Songs of the Key by Gough Richards, the Carlton Main Frickly Colliery Band playing there for Billy in Sunderland. Some really good, good music in there, isn't it? Smashing piece. Let's get on with the first piece in the second part of this week's A Bit More Yorkshire Brass. Uh, this is for Ian, and Ian's in Temple. He lives in London in the district called Temple, so right in the centre of London. Um, I listen to a bit more Yorkshire Brass every week, sometimes open the windows so the neighbours get some of it as well. Fabulous, how dare you, but thank you. Um, could you please play me uh, a piece of music by Gough Richards? So it's back-to-back -back Gough Richards pieces on the programme. Uh, this one is played by the Leyland Band, and very enjoyable too. It's called Jukebox. <laughs> The Leyland Band playing Gough Richards' Jukebox. That was for Ian in Temple. Ian lives right in the centre of Landon Town, as he calls it. Thanks, Ian. Lovely to hear from you. Lovely to hear, too, from Mr Jonathan Wilson, regular listener of my programmes uh, since 2008. Dear boy, I do hope you're well, uh, and thanks for sending the link onto this particular march, which uh, you want playing on the programme. Uh, yes, we, we played Bramwin the other week by John Carr, march that I played this year on Whit Friday, and have played on Whit Friday a couple of years. This is another one of John's wonderful marches played here by the Black Dyke Band. It's called Glendine.
John Carr's March Glendine was played by the Black Dyke Band at the request of Mr Jonathan Wilson, chef extraordinaire. Next up, another solo and more music from the musicals. I love musicals, says Joanne in Bingley, uh, and I also like to hear the sound of a euphonium. So if you've got something from a musical which is a euphonium solo, that kind of would um, hit the nail right on the head, so to speak, says Joanne. Um, we have, absolutely. Uh, this was written by Benny Anderson, and the euphonium soloist is Paul Baker with the Enfield Citadel Band. Lovely piece of music, great song. I've got a great vocal version of this as well by Daniel Cook. Um, Benny Anderson, as I say, what what can you say about Benny Anderson? Just absolutely legendary, legendary composer. And, and anything that he composed just seemed to turn to gold. This is fabulous. This is from Chess and it's called Anthem. Anthem from Chess by Benny Anderson. Paul Baker was the euphonium soloist with the Enfield Citadel Band, and we were playing that for Joanne in Bingley. Tempo's going up a bit now. We're going to Phil in Salford. This one came in in the Yorkshire Brass Facebook group. Um, Phil says, we've been playing this with our band and I can't find a recording. Have you got one, Oily? Oh, yes. Absolutely. I certainly have. This is music by Thomas Morris, and it's played here by the Lindley Band. It's called Darktown Strutter's Ball.
Darktown Strutter's Ball by Thomas Morris. The Lindy Band were playing there, and uh, that was for Phil in Salford, who was looking for a recording of that particular piece of music. More beers now from the list I have in front of me. How about one called Miduk? That's got to be from Sheffield or somewhere over the top side of Sheffield, doesn't it? Miduk. Uh, a real ale. I, I, I actually did have a pint of this a few years ago. It was a guest ale in, uh, in my local pub. Um, so, yeah, I, that was all right. Didn't mind that one at all. Now then... This one is by the Thirsty Dog Brewing Company. It's a brown porter beer uh, called Old Leg Humper. Oh dear. It's got to be a picture of a dog, surely, on the label of that beer. Old Leg Humper. Um, Geriatric Hipster Club. I don't know what that one's all about. I mean, that's a very, very weird name, isn't it, for, for a beer? Geriatric Hipster Club. Ah, uh, Monty Python's Holy Grail. But not G R A I L, G R A L E. Monty Python's Holy Grail. I have seen that out and about actually. More of these in a little while. What's coming next? Now then, music of Jim Parker, please. Says um, Stella. This is for my hubby, Green Fingers Gary. Loves his gardening. Loves growing tomatoes. Loves watching gardening programs on telly. So he's heard a fair amount, hasn't he, of the music of Jim Parker uh, because of uh, of Ground Force, of course. And we're going to hear music now from the Black Dyke Band, which Jim Parker composed. Happy birthday to Green Fingers Gary from wife Stella, it says on the email. Here we go with the Autumn Carol. The Black Dyke Band with music from the BBC TV series Ground Force. Autumn Carol by Jim Parker was requested by Stella, the wife of Greenfingers Gary. Absolutely lovely. Great to hear from you and happy birthday, Gary. Next up, we go to Honley and say hello to Alan. Thank you very much for a lovely email, Alan. And you've picked an absolute cracking piece of music, an old classic, as you call it. You would like to hear Dennis Wright's arrangement of Carl Friedman's Slavonic Rhapsody number no. 2. To play it for you, the Marsden Silver Prize Band.
Carl Friedman's Slavonic Rhapsody No. 2, arranged by Dennis Wright, was played by the Marsden Silver Prize Band for Allen in Honley. Something altogether more modern now, well, 1980s anyway, pop from the 1980s, a request often made by Heather of Home Firth. You always find me something good, oily. Make my day and find me something else. Well, let's try this one from 1986, a massive hit for Europe. Played here by the Williams Fairy Band. The final countdown. Massive, absolutely massive for, for Europe. The final countdown. Pop music from the 1980s as requested by Heather in Home Fur. The Williams Fairy Band were playing there. Ian and Louise have been in touch to say our lovely girls Jess and Sophie have been mithering to go to Disneyland for an absolute age. Sadly, we can't afford to go to Florida at the minute because it's just so damned expensive, says Ian. But we're managing to go to Disneyland Paris. That's not cheap either, but it's a lot cheaper than going to America. We're going over New Year. We're going to be there for the New Year's Eve party. How wonderful. You can't beat a bit of Disney, can you? And this is a montage of music that you've requested. Played here by the Stocksbridge Band. Another arrangement by the great Gough Richards. A Disney fantasy.
A Disney Fantasy by Gough Richards, just some lovely pieces of music from the Disney franchise. The Stocksbridge Band playing there for Jess and Sophie. They're going to Disneyland Paris with Mum and Daddy and Louise for New Year. You will have a fantastic time, all of you, I'm sure. More of the beer names now. How about this one? Uh, Yellow Snow. Really? It's an IPA, yeah, but you'd see something like that and think, I'm not drinking that. I'm not having any of that yellow snow. 
uh, an IPA. And how about this one? This is brewed in the US, but it's a it's a tribute to strong Scottish ales. It's called Kilt Lifter. How dare you? Kilt Lifter. Um, Dizzy Blonde. I don't mind a pint of Dizzy Blonde. It's quite a nice drink, is that? Um, it's a nice session beer. Nice blonde beer uh, for, for a session. And uh, three to go. On with the motley. Now then, I actually... I had a pint of this stuff only three or four weeks ago in a local pub and it's brewed locally to me and it's a really lovely drink. In fact, I put it on the Facebook group and some of you did reply. Um, there were seven or eight of these on the bar and I saw on with the motley. I thought, well, I've got to have a pint of that, haven't I? It's a soprano cone, it's solo, of course. Uh, and it did the business. Yeah, I really, really liked it. Um, there is another one here, which the beer is called Circum, C-I-R-C-U-M. Apparently it's a session ale. Think about it. How dare you? Uh, and the final one, um, for, for penguin lovers. And I know there are some lovers of penguins out there. And I dare you, I dare you to try this beer. This is a chocolate and tar tasting beer called Tactical Nuclear Penguin. It's 32% ABV. Good God. Really. Really. 32% give it a miss uh, test piece time Stephen York thanks for this one an absolutely legendary test piece another one of Eric Ball's classics Steve said I'd like to hear the Black Dyke Mills band recording of this one please this week's test piece journey into freedom
This week's test piece was played by the Black Dyke Mills Band at the request of Steve in York. Eric Ball's Journey into Freedom. Cracking piece of music. It's got to be due for a run out again soon, surely. 
panel are you listening uh him tune time brenda in huddersfield how are you doing thank you very much indeed lovely to hear from you and a joyful hymn if i may please says brenda you absolutely may uh, the international staff band of the salvation army are playing your choice sing hosanna This week's hymn tune, Sing Hosanna, played by the International Staff Band for Brenda in Huddersfield. That's just about it for another A Bit More Yorkshire Brass back next week with show number 135 in our online series. But before we go today, we've got a very special birthday to celebrate. Happy 90th birthday to Brian in Lightcliffe from all of his family. This has been sent in by granddaughter Libby. We'll be having a big party for him and he'll be having a pint or two. He still loves a beer and uh, he loves his brass band music. Living in Lightcliffe, he's a big fan of the Brighouse and Rastrick band and he remembers for his 85th birthday present coming to see you early with the Brighouse and Rastrick band and the Floral Dance Reunion concert. Yeah, with the tickets uh, five years ago. It is five years ago, so yeah, you're right. He would have been 85 and he enjoyed every bit of it. But he's still a massive fan of the reason for that concert and it was the 40th anniversary reunion of the floral dance happy 90th birthday brian i'm playing on this recording as libby rightly points out with the brickhouse and rastrick band and the brickhouse and rastrick reunion band from 1977 we'll leave you today with the music of katie moss arranged by derek broadbent the floral dance thanks again ta-ra